five. I look weird. What's going on? I look. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a lot. Hey everyone, so we're a little bit later today. Um, we're at a Goodwill, which we never go to Goodwill because this Goodwill is not so good you to say, us. You say that, but you found Hermes here. Yeah, uh, it's normally not our favorite thrift store, but we're trying to be more consistent about it since we found Hermes. <laughs> you have also have found Burberry here. I have, I have. You found a uh, $200 game book. Guidebook. Yeah. So we are gonna do hello. that. Um, we are also, hello, Sharon. <laughs> that sounded like, um, what's that movie? Uh, I don't remember. But anyway. Um, Helpful, that's good. So we are also changing up our sourcing strategies so we can talk about that at some point during tonight if you want us to. Yes. Uh, let us know what you want us to look at because this Goodwill, Look, it's small, so we can check out all the sections and probably still not close the store. So <laughs> we shall see. Um, the shoes are very sparse, so bear with us on that. Sparse and I did find Ariats here once, but I think they were like twenty-five dollars. So yeah, uh, but they were basically new. So. Yeah. So we will go in. Uh, and we gonna are we gonna share our our news or are we gonna wait? You gonna bring a savers bag and a Goodwill? I am. I'm a rebel. I mean, that's a one way to get kicked out of a store. I don't know if... I am also still a little bit limping, so bear with me, uh, but better. Let's we'll put this in the car. We'll, we'll come back if we oh, need he's it. He's so uncomfortable with... What do you guys think? Is bringing a savers bag into Goodwill like a bad thing? He's He just brought it back to the car because apparently it's a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, it is, so it is a little bit better, Angie. Um, it's still not perfect, but we're doing better. I'm going to walk you guys over to the shoes while he's, um, it's, yes, Sharon, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Got high top Converse. Price on these, I, 10? 10G, so 10 green. Is there um, a color tag? Yes, I did actually make it way worse. Um, talking about my knees um, when we went sourcing the other day. Um, but I'm doing better. I've been kind of just sitting on the couch doing nothing. These are cool. So Nikes. Um, I don't see a price on these. Do you want to get a cart at least? See? $20. <laughs> Price point here is crazy. These are like clean Nike Airs. Look at how clean. But I would bet money. Air Monarch. $25. Um, color tag here today is yellow. Yellow. Oh, these are super cute. Disney. I don't know if they're like genuine Disney. Oh yeah, Disneyland Parks. Is that but parks? twenty. Twenty bucks. Yeah. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a lot of. Uh, shoes are usually a no go here, um, but we might as unless, well look. Unless you find Burberry, eight dollars. Take a look. What are you doing? Oh, news. Should okay. we should we share or no? Do you want to wait? Uh, let's hold out until the end of the live. <laughs> so you want to make people stay? Yeah, totally shameless. These are cute. They almost look like flying it, but they don't say it. Yeah, but what's it? Twelve bucks? Mm -hmm. I don't think. Uh, nice. Okay. I literally just thought she a mannequin was a person. She just has to suck it up, really. What? What are you talking about? Your knee. You just have to suck it up. Oh, work. you would be so much worse I'll than me. Work. Get out of here. Oh, I know what these are. Are they Ariat? Yeah. Nice. 
$65, look at that. Crazy, couldn't afford that. I mean, they are, again, also new. These feel condition. nice. What are they? Indeterminate. Oh, In Durango. Felt nicer than they were. $65. <laughs> I mean, I... That's funny. I honestly don't even know if I'd be comfortable at the half price on that. For yeah. area. Don't worry, not everything is as bad as shoes, but... Yeah. I don't know why. I'm guessing they they saw you buy the last one. <laughs> I just wonder, like, how many people pay these prices because they're just so crazy. Mm-hmm. Sharps. That is where I found it. I'm gonna go through here. Hold and take the. While you go through scarves. I'm not a chatty person. And I am already causing a scene. Oh, good. Does anything even feel nice? Not really. I'm trying. I mean, we've down the road at the other savers or the savers in this town. There was a new tags Burberry trench coat for two thousand or eight hundred dollars. The the retail price on the on the tag was like twenty five hundred three thousand. Somebody bought it. I mean, we picked up. Yeah, I mean, we picked up the T Swift down the road too for a hundred and twenty. I don't know who would buy Sorel boots. I mean, they. Oh. Whoa, what do you mean? For 95? Oh. It's like, I've got Sorel. Not for 95, you don't. Mm, how'd that happen? Uh, Angie. Cashmere feel. <laughs> Cashmere feel. That's like genuine leather. I doubt. Doubt very much. Yeah, uh, I would not buy them, not to resell, but I mean, maybe for yourself, but at the same time, you could get them off of Poshmark or somewhere and have them maybe for a better price than 95, depending. I mean, you did sell the pair that you picked up for 20 for like 90 on the Sorrells, but they were in very good shape and very stylish, so I... I I mean, it's just not really a deal, though. You go to Goodwill for the deals and the discount. You don't go for paying essentially a retail. Right. I just, nope, can't do it. I'm gonna go look at other things. You don't have to wait for me. You're almost done. And then you got the whole other rack. Let's see. How about a pants? Here it goes. I just I wouldn't be able to to handle that. No, thank you. That's basically retail. Nope. Liverpool for thirteen. It's gonna be a no. Torrid, LA Blues. Let's see.
Let's see here. Not a whole lot. Do -do -do -do. So, I mean, we do sh kind of crap all over the store, but it has been very good to us at times. It's very, very hit or miss. Usually, usually miss. But when it hits, it hits, it hits different. Like this might be the, the hands down best place when it hits. What are you looking at now? Well, that looks like there's no way it is. Yeah. Mm. To do, to do. That would have been a cool find, but no dice. So on we go. And I am terribly sorry that you are subjected to me right now. Let's see here. J. Jill. It's five bucks. That's a little bit high. Hmm. What is this? And denim. Yellow is 50. I mean, it's, oh, it's a nice color too. How bad could it be? That's a 100% cashmere made in Scotland. It's cute. I like What's the price? $4. Eh. I mean, you'll wear it at $4. That's teal. So, save me. Save you? I'm so bad at the chat. You're not bad. I am atrocious. All right, go this way. Um started jeans with your hmm all right i'll do more of this later so i don't bore them there's more over here too some feel like silk all right so i don't bore you i'll do more of that later what are we doing all right let's see nothing good sharon says you need to have confidence sir Because you were doing so good. Thank you, Sharon. I might give it another shot. Give what another shot? Being the driver. You should, so that I can. Oh, so this was a recent Target collab. Now, I don't normally grab Target collabs. But this is the yellow tag. So this is recent. I don't know. I would have to look this up. Oop. It's very hurt as my husband tries to re-cripple me. Uh, you backed into me. Um, so I don't know. I have to look that up. Situational awareness there, dear. That's on you. Ooh gold five bucks i think i'll do that gold tag Ooh. don't know what that is Mm-hmm. 
I hear Breezy always talking about Vanity Fair stuff, but don't think that price is a good thing to experiment with. Another gold. What do we think? $8 for this? Got a nice little slit there. I don't know. What do we think? I hope $8 is a bit high, personally. When it sells for $50? If it sells for 50 then no. Oh, you guys let me know. You guys have I mean, you very much in cart and we can encouraged me on the gold tag. Oof. Let's put it in for now. Let's see what else we got. You trust me to try again? What, to drive? Yeah. You can drive. What do you guys think? I'm going to do my best. Where am I going to go? We're just going to go over here for a bit. <coughs> okay. All right. I almost forgot. So for everyone in the chat, uh, Shay's birthday is coming up and she's all the way down there. So I did get her a PO box for her business. So I was hoping anyone listening could send her a birthday card as soon as I find the PO box number. Let's see here. I want to do a, a birthday surprise for her. So it's P.O. Box uh, three, uh, 3283 in Woonsocket. 02895. So I'll, I'll probably put that in the chat for everyone. Uh, but if you could send her a birthday card, that would be the coolest thing ever as a surprise. And I just really want to have an excuse to give her something from, from you all. Not a gift. I want to make that very clear. No gift, just a card. Again, P.O. Box 3283, Woonsocket, Rhode Island. 02895. Now, let's get back to thrifting. All right. So, do we have any bags? No. Almost like a Dooney. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can put that in the chat as well. Oh, Betsy Johnson. 12 bucks, I think that's a bit too high. I mean, it's cute with the polka dots, but... Hmm. No bags. Nice felt hats. Huh. Uh, it's thirty. It's a peel box thirty-two eighty-three in Woonsocket, Rhode Island. Uh, 02895. I gotta be careful because she's right there. So. Now, if I post in the chat, 
Can you all be trusted to message things to get it to disappear? Perfect. I just don't want her to be able to see it. You are the best, Angie. Yeah, this is way too much responsibility, dear. Still too much responsibility, don't like it. So, there are no bags, we looked. Uh, Ed Hardy. Mm. So that's very in right now. Ed Hardy. Who is wearing a scarf in 80 degree weather? Hey, look, I don't, I don't worry about seasonality. You should. Did he actually stay and chat with you guys or did I leave you in four hands? Uh, Four hands, really. Probably. I tried bags, but there's all right. Well, not a whole lot. did you do pants, which are right in front of you? Uh, not do both pants. No, I right. did just pants. Pants and jeans are different things, my dear. I did not do pants, so I want you to do this section. All right. And I oh, as I'm making a mess, he chatted and shopped with us. I'm very proud of him. I try my best. <laughs> all right. I appreciate it, so I can do sections that might bore you guys and not bore you. <laughs> so I wanted to ask, I know there's only seven people in here, so uh, it might not be a lot of people, but I'm curious what everyone's feelings are on whatnot, because it is a large topic of conversation in the community, and I'm curious how everyone feels about it. So, if anyone has opinions, please feel free to share. New tags, but I don't know what these are, but these are just like all of these pants that are like this. They must be homemade. They're very strange. Like, listen, can you hear this? I don't have the great merch and no guts for that. Yeah, um, we did the math on one of the uh, one of the people we follow, uh, whatnot, like how many people they got in versus how many followers they had. And if we did the math on that, we'd have two people in our live. So I don't think we have quite the audience for it. Um, I also don't think I would want to be live for that long showing items i think it would get exhausting like a few hours anyway and i just feel like it would get exhausting after a while just I like going through unless you take things out, out of the rotation yeah i mean i know people source specifically for it um but i don't think i could support the price point because it looks like i mean unless you're going through the bin you're not going to be able to yeah, from what I'm seeing, it's being sold real cheap, even if you have a following, uh, with the occasional exceptions, um, and I just don't have the price point for it. But I see a lot of people, like, just, you know, really loving it. You think we should try our, our Hermes scarf on whatnot? <laughs> no, I don't. I think that needs to go to Sotheby's is what I think. That's, no, that's probably that. Yeah. What do we think, Alfred Dunner? I see everybody on the Facebook groups grabbing these and I'm just like, guys, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna hold the value. Like, I mean, just look, there's just so many of them. Everything. It's a TikTok trend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, there's a billion like that. that no, I, if it was a trend that was going to hold, I don't feel like there would be a billion of them. I think those with large ones can make excellent money. So it seems. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, their bonus structure is, from what I hear, quite good. It reminds me of a triangle shaped business opportunity. <laughs> I mean, we don't have any personal insight. We, we, I've never gotten any information or anything like that on. I'm just reading what I read. But yeah, from what I, what I've seen, does remind me of that. It's a little bit top heavy. 
A little Let's bit. This would be cute if it wasn't ten dollars, and I just pulled it off the hanger. Darling, you're gonna have to fix that for me. My one-handedness has caused some issues. Now, if hmm? you know what you're looking for, it might be a way to pick up items online that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to source. Yeah, for sure. Like sourcing on whatnot, I, I mean, could see being pretty lucrative because. Um, if you go to like the smaller rooms, they don't have anybody in there. So I could imagine that'd be a good place to source if you know what you're looking for. But I think I'd feel guilty. It does, if, if you do that, it feels a little like you're using your knowledge to take advantage of someone. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd feel, I don't know. I don't know. It's just so popular right now. I almost have FOMO because I'm not, I'm not doing it. Buy, buying someone's ramen for $10 because they don't know what it is. <sighs> I don't think people would be selling on there predominantly that don't know what they have. I mean, Hi. But, Tracy. Tracy, right? You changed your name. You got me all confused, but I think it's Tracy. They, they know what they have, but if it's a smaller room and they're listing what they're listing. Yeah, I mean, it goes for what it goes for, yeah. So. I think I would just feel guilty. Oh, I definitely feel guilty. I would still do it shamelessly, but I don't feel bad about it afterwards. Okay, good. We were right. It was Tracy. Whew. It's a miracle. Uh, I think Daily Primate said he thinks it's a temporary fad, if I remember correctly. That, yeah, I mean, I feel that way too. I feel like once people kind of get over the novelty of it, they're, it's not going to be as big. But I don't know. Is it just because I am not, like, doing it and I, you know, am having kind of like... I mean, the thing that has going for it is that it's very, very heavy promoted by the biggest names in the space but how many people are on it that are not in the reselling space because uh, i don't people. see a ton I, I can see it attracting the people that go to, to flea markets and other places that are looking for deals and they're not really looking for a specific item for themselves but i don't know how cost effective it's going to be yeah, it's not going to replace online shopping. People aren't going to go there when they're like looking for something that they need to buy. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded because it wouldn't work so well for me and I'm, I'm having some FOMO. I don't know. All right, dear. I'm starting to feel guilty. I'm doing this a lot. Yes, we are talking about what not. <laughs> What's your opinion on it, Tracy? Because I'm trying to gather people's opinions because I'm surprised at how many people I'm seeing move over there. Some people that I didn't think I would see moving over there. Um, and I'm just curious how people feel about it. Hey, Meg. How do you feel about them? What are they? Carl. Uh, Carl does terribly for me. I know. With the exception of that... Um, that one thing? That one thing. Yeah. Is this Gymshark? Hey, Glam Chick. I think this is. Guys, can you confirm for me that this is Gymshark? They need to see the front to confirm. Can you guys confirm this is Gymshark? There's no other. I mean, hey, Kelly. Reverse image search. I can do that quick. Yeah, if you want to do that. I think it is. So yeah, we are talking about whatnot. We're trying to gauge everyone's opinions. No opinion is wrong. If you love it, if you hate it, let us know. It is in fact. It is. Hmm. Well, that's something you don't find very often. It's funny. I actually found it here once before, and it didn't have an interior label, so I left it behind. For confirming. 
Awesome, thank you guys. We, I have not actually ever picked it up. So, how much was it, hun? <laughs> I neither. I wanted to know if it was Jim Shark before I made any. I mean, it's a lot considering there's no. Um... Oh, it's a flaw. Sad day. Oh, these are Disney Lularoe, which I hear. All right, so we'll put that back. Sad, sad day. I hear Disney LuLaRoe actually does well, but I just can't bring myself to buy LuLaRoe. Oh, you you applied for whatnot? That would be so cool. Um, what are you, are you a bins shopper and what are you planning to sell? I'm curious for those who are interested in doing it, what their model is. I just, I, I don't know how um, you can do it without going to the bins car. Like so Meg says, I think whatnot is here to stay. Live sales streams have been steadily increasing for the last almost three months now. It's an interesting dynamic because live streaming other things is now just ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Right. Like Video TikTok games, here. We're live streaming right now. Live streaming, thrifting. Like that's just, it's an accepted part of society at this point. Yeah. I just don't know how, how you pair that with the shopping side of it because you're look, if you're looking for yourself, you're looking for a specific thing. Right. The yeah. The only way that it works is if you're looking to, to then flip it to yourself on an e-commerce e website after the fact. I mean, that's your opinion. I mean, that is my opinion. I'm curious for those who go to a lot of the auctions, how many people are you seeing in there that are not there to resell? Because I haven't had that experience, but that doesn't mean it's not there. That's, that's the real question. Because uh, is... So Kelly says, I'm a bin thrift store shopper, mainly vintage pieces. That's what I'm hoping to sell. Okay, so that makes sense. So... If we were a bin shopper, maybe. I just, we have a bin that's an hour away and a bin that's... And Buddy the Elf Teeth, you got somebody commenting on your tea there, bud. Oh, what? This is the, I guess you're getting a sneak peek at the t-shirt because we filmed uh, tomorrow's video uh, today. So he wore that for the video. So I guess Tuesdays get a little sneak peek. I mean, that makes sense, that they are going out of their way. To spend time with us? Absolutely. I wish you guys were seeing more great finds, but we just don't have that here. I don't think Whatnot is a place for reseller sourcing. Again, I've only been to a few, but the prices start low and jump quick. Hmm. All right. It just seems... Maybe it's just if you have a following, you do really well, which is awesome for those who can do it. Because I don't see it replacing sites, but it's great for vintage collectors, artists, jewelry, etc. That makes sense. So like niche shoppers. So I don't think we were thinking of it that way. We were thinking of it as like, you know. I mean, clothing, it's hard because it, it either fits you or it doesn't. <laughs> jewelry, other jewelry. Well, yeah, but like vintage t-shirts. Or vin oh, well, vintage anything, really. There are people that really are looking for certain pieces. That's true. I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, can, I can certainly imagine myself on the hunt for something. Um, I'm addicted to everything Alphamad Art refuses to watch until December. Uh, sorry, it closed out while I was reading it. Um, I play it when she's at school. <laughs> <laughs> I would be curious to see what kind of results people are having for... It's very niche specific in my opinion. Okay, so that really does make sense. I think I was more thinking of like, how would it replace like what we do, which is just regular like clothing. Um, that makes sense. More niche stuff. It's like a billion degrees in this place as well. I mean, if you're able to recruit people, I, it looks like the money is just lucrative. I don't like know how I, that's going to be sustainable for them. I don't think it'll be a long-term thing. It's probably just to build the platform, but still, like that's amazing. Like I'll take ten grand. Right. I mean, I don't know exactly the numbers, but the numbers that I've heard, I will take them all day. All 
I gotta stop looking at scarves, guys. They need to stop me. Stop looking at scarves, dear. No one cares. I know. I'm trying, but like, really, there's nothing here. Um, so far, what I've seen is mainly vintage teas and toys. Hmm. Things we sadly don't find. Would be cool though. I would love to be. I think uh, the vintage market here is fairly competitive, and I think we lose out. Yeah, I would love to be you a. Get pushed out of the way for vintage I know. I get physically moved. <laughs> I mean, there is like 14 people in here, darling. Did you want to say? Hmm? You said you were going to wait till the end for our announcement, but there's 15 people in here, which is probably the top end of what we're getting. Do you want to tell? Want to drag it out and make them suffer. Make them suffer till the end. I think that's very mean. They took the time to spend time with us. We should um, also, ooh, Check DVDs. I've actually sold this before, and it's yellow. Uh, I'm live through. You keep doing this, then maybe I'll buy a few things by living vicariously through you guys. It's Tom. That's the toy seller, right? Yes, he repairs the... We talked about you a lot this week, Tom. <laughs> um... Sharon's saying, tell us, and I think you should listen to Sharon. Why don't we walk, you hold and talk, and we'll walk towards DVDs? I think we should do DVDs. We should do DVDs. There's a very limited selection. So we have been in talks to get a second puppy. A new puppy. A new puppy. Uh, she's actually going to be a full sister to Luna. And we finally worked out a way to get her from the breeder in Texas. So we are, so we're very excited. And she's gonna be adorable. Yes, Tom, you are popular. <laughs> Any plush? So. We are getting a puppy. Let's see here. Thank you, Sharon. Well, that's the entire basic season of Buffy, Angel. I don't know if I could do. It's missing season four. Eight hundred. Oh my God. How? How do you find enough stuff? Like that's insane. That's just outrageous. Dear? Not yet. Tom found eight hundred DVDs this weekend. Yet. See, I was not even looking at that for for reselling. My wife is a huge, huge Gilmore Girls fan. So, I mean, it's almost worth picking up just so that I can hand them over to my wife. Given that her birthday is coming up and I have shamelessly not gotten her anything yet, and I'm incredibly behind on the, sh the birthday gift shopping. Let's see. I still don't know how you found 800. I'm not seeing anything that is jumping out at me. That's weird. I don't know if I don't know if that's entirely accurate. Hmm. 
We'll see. Here I am awkward, awkwardly holding you all against the wall. I'm not seeing anything that is crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Admittedly, I don't find a whole lot here. I found like two DVDs ever. Let's see. That has to be pirated. There's no way that that's not pirated. Let's see. Hmm. Do, do, do. I can't even, he has a connection where he, he picked up an entire collection. So jealous. Yeah. Right there is an Emporium Armani. Yeah. I just, I don't know enough. Can you save me? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. You're struggling? Yes. Okay, I guess I'm saving him. Hugo Boss, that's cool. Look how cool this is, like a long jacket, Hugo Boss. He just walked away, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he, did he not finish the DVDs, guys? He's like, bye. All right, one-handed, it's hard. exciting today guys I'm sorry I was hoping we'd run across something exciting zebra TC 56 touch computer instead of a cell phone so I could hit a button on the phone and instantly get a value of the DVDs oh that's must be so nice how do you bring that to the store do you just do you do it when you're um, sourcing f through contacts like online and stuff and on in the store you do phone or Way too many of these. Nothing exciting. It's sad. <laughs> Angry birds. Huckleberry. Oh, this is pretty. Same as size as a cell phone. Oh, okay. Um, so I use it to price collection and find rare gems that sort of at home. I just use a regular barcode scanner. Oh, I'm jealous. I wish I had something like that. We have to kind of just guess and hope that we know what we're talking about. I don't know where he went. I'm going to have to go looking for him. In a minute, I want to see. I've been watching um, Thrift of Life do books. 
and I am cutting myself off from certain sections starting probably tomorrow. So I'm like trying to do them all now. All right, darling, we getting ready to go? What? Oh, I used to have all those. They're on Netflix now, thankfully. Um, let's see. I hate media. I know it's lucrative, but I just find it so tedious. My hubby loves it. I, I like it because it, um, it's easy. It's easy to list, easy to sell. Easy. All right, we should get going. It's getting close. <laughs> All right, we should go. It's getting close. Yeah. Uh, they just said on the overhang that was like 24 minutes. All right, you want to take it over for a minute? Okay, let's see. Walt Disney Collector's Edition. Let's see. Any of them that are used? Let's see. So currently I'm looking at Tarzan. And that's Good to keep in mind. PlayStation 1 Collector's Edition is absolutely worth picking up. The rest of it. I'm going to say no. I'm gonna say no. Let's see here. Sweating to the oldies three. Not seeing anything. So I typically look for BBC or Acorn, not a whole lot. Where did my wife go? She's in board shorts. Oh, nope, she's in polos. Yeah, I was looking to see if Oh, that's good to know. Yoda man. <laughs> uh, yep. It's a large though. I don't know if it'll fit. Yeah. Oh, it'll fit. Total. Um, snagging that. You're getting two sneak previews for future videos, everyone. Count yourself as lucky. Ready to go? I found a whole lot of nothing. I mean, media is tedious. I will grant you, Meg, but... No price tag and no size tag. What do you mean, no price tag? Oh. 
Seven bucks. I don't know. Is it size? Is it? Does it not have a size? I see it. Mm. Nada. What's this? That's the style. Yeah, I'd say no without a size. That's a shame. In fact, been doing pretty well with Tommy. Yeah, all right. Head over. Um, if you want the cheat code before I get the saber, I just use Declutter app and my cell camera to get represented prices. I use an index of Amazon. I don't even think I've heard of that app. I'm gonna download that app when I get to the car. Of course you will. Why not? Can't hurt. Mm -mm. It's ink. Eight bucks. Ink. What? Ink for the printer. What? Only eight bucks. Look at those American Girl dolls. That's Samantha, Josephine, you know, the other two. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think we can carry it. Thank you, though. Alright. Sure. Sure. <laughs> oh, hey, Nita. Oh, it's no problem. We are doing our best to do the lives every Tuesday, but... It's been a process, and for those that joined late, we did break some groundbreaking news, so we are getting a second puppy. So. So I... don't know how I feel about that. Do people not have any sense of consideration for other people? Like, they close in 10 minutes. That's like the pe people that walk into the restaurant 10 minutes oh, before. God, it's so first. frustrating. All right. Let's see. All right. Literally, I hope they step on Legos. Oh. Yeah. Not if you, kind. If you show up 10 minutes before a place closes, I hope you step on Legos every day so that is our goodwill it is very small prices kind of suck every once in a while it hits and when it hits it hits it'll hit like any other the best of any store ever yeah but that's but, more typical for us uh sometimes we find nothing at all that what we just did is pretty typical yeah um which is why i had stopped going there for a while but then sometimes it does well so anyways Let's see, did anybody say anything while I was... Nita said hi. Oh, Nita! Hey, Nita! Don't worry about being busy. Uh, sometimes we're so busy. We, we are insanely busy. We are like, can we do the live? I don't know. And I feel guilty because yeah. um, sometimes we're late and just feeling rushed. Uh, I haven't listed today. so It's usually my fault because I usually get done with work. Yeah. Late. So today was crazy because as we said, we are getting a dog. We figured that all out today. It's been weeks in the making. Um... We were trying to get transport from Texas to Mass, and it just was way too oh, expensive. We so are not rich, if anybody was wondering. No. I'm sure you can tell. Um, we were not. Um, so we couldn't afford any transport. It was really, really awful. And then we found this godsend from Virginia who just was amazing and is doing it basically at her cost. And it's just... 
Oh, I am excited. My birthday is next week, so I am like basically feeling like it's a birthday gift. Like I'm the just, stars lined up just for her. Yeah, birthday. that's how I feel. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, we of course will show you her if she is not too afraid uh i don't know how she's gonna be when we first get her but i think luna's gonna love her uh so yeah luna's actual sister and, yeah, and luna be... loves everyone uh literally Lu luna is the friendliest dog you will ever meet and she is shameless and some of you that have watched the channel have actually seen her being walked <laughs> and like yeah she is the epitome of attention seeking yeah, she's puppy. a lot uh we did need to stick with uh her breed we've been looking at other dogs uh, as we said we met uh, another dog named Bo. uh we have been looking at other dogs we had to stick to the hyperallergenic breeds because I somebody's allergic, allergic somebody and super sensitive it seems i was even a little bit allergic to luna when she came home so yep. <sighs> This just worked out and I'm really excited, um, but it did take all of the day and yeah, I didn't get listings done, but we're here, so we did this. So there's that. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any questions for us, let us know. Otherwise, I think we're gonna pop off a little early tonight um, so that I can eat and just unwind from the exciting day. Um, tomorrow's video is a haul and I know that they're not usually uh, well received on the channel but we did a lot to make sure that we give a lot of valuable info and we are, we are trying, it's an epic haul it's it, really good it's a very good haul yeah it's it's it, from our one of our top stores and it's yeah. it's worth it like it's worth it so please 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 watch if you do watch please leave a comment it really really helps us um and it like you know helps the algorithm all those fun loving things so and it makes me oh. happy i get so excited oh, yeah. seeing comments we like sit on our couch and we like wait to see if anyone comments because we're so ridiculous but we do oh, it makes her entire day I, well i love the Every fact that there's second. people that actually care enough to watch something that we put together and they don't care enough to watch your your finger though yeah um <laughs> so <laughs> All right, but if there is no questions. I think we're going to pop off early, uh, but let me know. Um, let's just check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Guess not. All right, guys. So we're going to go eat dinner then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and hopefully we will have a better live soon. I feel so bad that they are not always epic, but that is live. I mean, yeah, that goodwill is kind of. And it's live. It's. Um, more At least I just, didn't see an old man say, hey, I won't bother you because your husband's too big. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, that, that happened. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys. Bye. Bye, Tom. Bye, Sharon. Bye, everybody.